Welcome to the Brass and Woodwind Shop. It is very common on trumpets to have dents in the ends of the tuning slides. There are many different shapes and sizes of dents, and how the dent is shaped and sized will depend on what tool you use and how to get the dent out. If the dent is rounded like this one, you will tend to use a larger dent ball than you will on the dents that are sharp and have a crease in them. Now this slide has a series of dents. There's a larger, smoother dent, but it's right next to a dent that has a sharp crease on it. So I'm going to use a combination of tools to get this one out. This is a set of five knuckle dent rods, and knuckles are the tubes that come out of the casings on instruments. These tools also work well to get the dents out of the crooks on tuning slides. These tools have different shapes to fit into different types of tubing, and these are the two that you will use most for trumpets and cornets. These tools are curved at the end so that they can fit into the tuning slide and get into the ends of the crooks. These tools have threaded ends and there are different sizes of dent balls that you can screw onto the ends of those. This dent rod also has a threaded end on it and this one is straight so you can put it into the slide and you can get at the sides of the crooks with this tool. These two tools will not fit into trumpet or cornet third slides. This one will fit in but it will only get dents that are on the sides of the crook. It will not get dents that are in the end of the crook though. This is a tool that I made and it's specifically for getting into the ends of third slide crooks on trumpets and cornets. And it also works on some French horn tuning slides. This tool fits all the way in the slide and then you can move it over so that you can get at the dents that are at the end of the crook. Here's the set of threaded dent balls and the ones that fit on these tools are the three little ones. The largest of the three threaded dent balls is usually too large for trumpets. It is used on baritones and other instruments, so usually you use the two smaller ones. In general, you will use the larger of the two dent balls on dents that are rounded or more smooth, and the dents that are sharper or have a crease in them, you will use the smaller of the two dent balls. These dent rods have a little different shape to them, and this one has a smaller angle, and it will fit into most tuning slides. This rod has a larger angle to it and it will not fit into most first tuning slides, but it works well on most second tuning slides though. After you put one of the dent balls on the rod, it makes it larger and sometimes it will not fit into the end of the tuning slide. This one does fit, but sometimes you need to use a smaller dent ball in order to get it to fit onto a certain tuning slide. On the first tuning slide, I'm going to use the long and straight dent rod with the larger of the two dent balls on it to get the dents out that are on the sides of the crook. This tool will not reach to the end of the crook, so for the end, I'm going to use this dent rod with the larger of the two dent balls on it. For the second tuning slide, again, I'm going to use the long and straight dent rod with the larger of the two dent balls on it for the sides of the crook. Then for the middle of the crook, I'm going to use the dent rod with a larger angle because it will fit into the second slide. And because this has a crease on it, I am going to use the smaller of the dent balls. And I will probably switch back and forth between the larger and the smaller because there is a crease, but it also has a large smooth spot on it. For the third slide, these two will not fit, so I'm going to use this tool. I put the dent rod in the vise and I'm ready to get the dents out. Put this over the tube and then push the dents out. And you need to put some pressure on it, but not that much, probably not as much as you'd think. And also some metal is harder than others. So on some brands of trumpets, you're going to need to push pretty hard. And on other ones, you can push a lot lighter and still get dents out. On the rounded tubing, it is easier to get the dents out with something that is also rounded. Push out all the dents you can with this rod, and then after you're done, turn it around and get the dents out that are on the other side. I don't know how well you can see me getting the dents out. Some are popping right out, others you need to work hard to get them out. Most of the dents that I can reach with this tool have come out well and they look nice, but if I turn it over, there's still a few sharp dents that are not coming out quite so easily. So what I'm going to do is change the dent ball on this. 
With the smaller dent ball, if you use the same amount of force when you're pushing it down, the surface area where you're pushing on the inside of the tube is a lot smaller. So those dents are going to come out easier. And so when you use the smaller dent ball, you need to make sure that you're right underneath the dent. And usually you can feel where it is. If you slide it back and forth, it doesn't look like I'm doing much, but I can feel where that dent is. And I'm going to push that out. And that one just came out. It's probably really hard to see on the video. And this is a repair where you just have to practice doing it. And the more you practice, the better you get. Now I need to do the ones at the end. I'm going to use this dent rod with the larger dent ball. And this needs to go in the vise a little differently than the other one. This is a lead jaw. And you put that in there. And what that will do is it will help to hold this in better. If I just use the vise on this one, this tool is going to slide around. So the lead jaw helps keep this tool in place when you're getting the dent out. The camera is positioned so you're looking at the dent rod from the top. Push the dent out and the first little bit usually comes out easy. And then it gets a little trickier after you've done the first easy part. You have to get under the dent, and you have to know where the dent is when you're doing this. Again, you have to find where these dents are. They don't always just pop right out. When you're doing this job, be careful not to squeeze the tube because that can bend it. So hold it with one hand like that and put your other hand over it. And then use your two hands together to push down on the tubing. I'm pushing hard and not getting these dents out all the way. So I'm going to take this off and switch to the other dent ball, the smaller one. I have the smaller dent ball on there, so I'm going to find where the dent is and push the dents out. And usually what starts is one larger dent, ends up as several smaller ones that you have to get out individually. I've gone as far as I can with this tool, and there's still some dents that are left. There's one right at the top that I cannot reach with this one. So I'm going to use this tool, and it's usually used on third slides, but it will also work for the very end of the first slides. And also some of the dents are not as smooth as I'd like them to be. So what I'm going to do is take the dent hammer and smooth those out. But first I'm going to use the third slide tool. I'm also going to use the lead jaw for this tool so that it does not move around when I try to get the dents out. This tool is a lot sharper than the dent balls, so you have to be careful because if you push too hard, you can poke a hole right through the tubing. Put the slide on the tool and get right under the dents and push those out. With this tool, you have to go back and forth a lot because this tool only touches the tubing in a very small area. So you have to get underneath the whole area, so you have to go back and forth and get where the high spots are. You don't want to just keep pushing the whole time. You only push down when you're underneath a dent. You do not push down when the tubing is not dented. I'm done with this tool also. The slide is about as good as it's going to get with those tools. So now it's time to do the third slide with a sharp dent in it. I'm going to use the third slide dent tool on this because this is the only tool that will work where these dents are. I have to put this tool right under where the dent is. And usually you can feel where it is by moving it around. But you can also see it sometimes. It's hard to see in the camera, but you can see it when you're pushing on the tubing. So I'm going to find where the dent is, and I'm finding it by feeling it. And then I'm going to push the dent out. Okay, I have to find where it is again. I lost it. There it is. Yeah. So the dent has come out most of the way. So I got this dent out. Now I'm going to get the other dent out. This tool worked very well for the dent at the very end of the slide, but the other dent next to it, this tool could not quite reach it. So I tried the other tool, and I did manage to get this tool to fit on there. I had to push a bit, but it did fit on there, and I ended up getting the dent out with this tool. So after saying that this tool would not work on this slide, I found out that it will work. What you can learn from that is just choose a tool that will work, and I need to realize that I don't know everything, and I learn as I go. There are the dents. You can see that they're most of the way out, but when there is a sharp crease like that, those dents never come out all the way. 
and you can smooth them out, but they will never be perfect after you're done with them. The only way to get those better would take a lot of work and some relacquering, but that's for a different video, and also that would be very expensive to do. So usually when there's a sharp dent like that, you smooth it out as good as you can, but it will not be perfect. After I've removed the dents as good as I can with the dent rods, I'm going to use the dent hammer to smooth the dents out more. There are different size dent hammers, but for a job like this, I'm going to use the smallest one. When you get dents in an instrument, and then you take the dents out, you're going to get high spots and low spots, and what the dent hammer does is it smooths the metal out, and it takes the high spots and pushes them in a little bit. What I'm going to do is find the high spots and tap on them. On the sharp dents, usually there are high spots on either side of the crease. So take the hammer and tap down those high spots. There's the tuning slide after the dents have been removed. And that's about as good as they're going to get. Here's the first tuning slide. And the dents are out as good as they're going to get. I hope this video has been helpful. Please subscribe for more band instrument repair videos. And look in the description below for links to other videos on dent removal. The way to make one of these is take a 1 quarter inch or 6.4 millimeter iron rod that's round, then grind the top of it down so that it's flat on both sides, and when you're done with that, take this end and bend it, flatten the end so it's parallel to the side of the tool, then round off the end and make it smooth so that it does not punch holes in the inside of the crook.